G'day guys, I'm sitting here with Steve Porter, who has been working closely with uh, Ken Schwaber uh, from scrum.org, and I have put together a few little questions, or just to walk through the new Scrum at Scale, which uh, you call Nexus. Uh, it's, it's actually uh, the Nexus framework, which is part of a scaling effort with Scrum teams. Okay, so let me walk through this. Uh, it's Essentially, it's just based on Scrum, right? Absolutely based on Scrum. So if you're already having success for Scrum or you know about the success that you can get doing software development from Scrum, we use that as the basis to build your scaled effort upon. Right, so what I'm trying to work out here is how many new rules you put in here. We don't have that many new items. I mean, it is still Scrum. We still have a product backlog. We still have a, a product owner. But we have added a few additional events, uh, artifacts, and roles to act as a bit of an exoskeleton to protect and strengthen individual scrum teams in a scaled effort. Okay, that's a, a big phrase there. So we'll just start with the product backlog. Right. right. That is just the same old product backlog that a product owner looks after. Same old product backlog, same old product owner. Obviously bigger because you've got more teams, but it's the same. And in that product backlog, we have big PBIs and Smaller, features smaller and... product backlog items. Again, the product backlog will be bigger, so you are going to have some bigger items in it. They might be features, they might be business initiatives. Those will get broken down into smaller items that will eventually be given to scrum teams to work inside of a sprint. And we don't call them epics, do we? If epics is a term that you would like to use inside your organization to describe those larger things, nothing says you can't. Oh, okay, all right, cool. Um, then we've got the sprint planning, and uh, that is, that's a sprint planning meeting on top of the normal sprint planning. So we've got this idea of Nexus sprint planning. So the Nexus sprint planning event is a container for individual Scrum teams planning. So Scrum is still Scrum, teams are still doing their own planning, but to before individual teams start planning, we have a smaller coordination meeting where representatives from each team get together to think about the larger picture. What team may be working on which? Are there any dependencies between those teams? Things that the individual teams may not know. We have this coordination meeting at the beginning to add some transparency to that. After that meeting, teams just do scrum planning like they've always done. Okay, so say you've got, say, five teams. Right. In your example here, it looks like you've got five teams. Right. Would you expect a member from each team? Or a couple of members from each team? Or some members? So skip? at that coordination meeting, each team needs to be represented. Uh, usually that's one person from each team going. If you would like to send more, there's nothing saying you can't. You don't want that meeting to be too large, to be too unmanageable. So sending everybody to it would obviously be a bit of a challenge, but if you need to send more than one, and if that's going to help that meeting be more successful, then, then feel free to do that. Great. All right, so number five, we've got the sprint backlog, or the, the Nexus, Nexus sprint backlog. backlog. So Scrum teams, this is just Scrum, out of their individual planning is going to come a sprint backlog. Scrum is still Scrum. The Nexus sprint backlog is, uh, I think that is a view. So you've got all these teams with their individual uh, sprint backlogs. This is a view onto that to look at the larger things they're delivering, the product backlog items that they're delivering inside the sprint, and to highlight the dependencies that you may have in between these different teams. So this Nexus sprint backlog is just a, another way to look at the individual team sprint backlog to get the big picture. Okay. And now the teams are going ahead, doing their work. Right. And the important thing that you're really emphasizing here is the integration. Right, these teams need to be working together because at the end of the day, they're producing an integrated increment. So we would hope that uh, as regularly as possible, they would be integrating their work together and not try to make that integrated increment, all that uh, integration happen right at the end of the sprint. So we're hoping every day, maybe multiple times a day, they're working together and creating integrated work. Okay. Uh, the next one is we have our normal daily scrums, but before that we have this Nexus daily scrum. Abs the Absolutely. What we would like to do is before they meet, have uh, representatives get together from each team get together and look at the bigger picture. Are our teams integrating well? Um, do we have, uh, is the work integrating correctly? Something as simple as, hey, did the nightly build that we're all working into, did it actually build correctly? 
to really raise the transparency of integration issues that are happening every single day. So every day, representatives get together, look at integration challenges, and then that information feeds into each team's individual daily scrum. And the, the we're almost there. Number eight is uh, the sprint review. Nexus sprint review. So we don't hold our individual sprint reviews. We hold the entire sprint review together. That's correct, because the output of an individual team isn't really what is the important piece for this nexus. What we'll be looking for is the output of all of the teams. So we're going to get together as a very large group at one event, one meeting, and look at the integrated increment. So individual teams um, are not having an individual piece to look at their individual work, but we're all getting together to look at that integrated increment. So that's kind of the first change that a team down in the bowels would notice. That's the first one because if they're used to having just a review where just their work is looked at, they now have to, um, uh, they're now forced to have a larger picture where they're, everyone's getting together to look at everyone's work and to get that feedback. Because the feedback that you want isn't from an individual team's effort, it's feedback on the entire integrated increment. Okay, so everyone's going to be end up more knowledgeable about the entire program. You need to be able to spread all of the feedback to all of the teams, and this is this is the mechanism to do that. And after that, um, you will have the sprint retros, right. where they have uh, a meeting prior, mm -hmm. and then they have the individual team sprint retros, right. and then a meeting after. And much like Nexus Sprint Planning, the Nexus Sprint Retrospective is a container around individual teams' retrospective. Scrum is still Scrum. Teams are meeting uh, just with their own members to get together to look at ways that they can improve how they work together as a team, and that is still done at the team level. But before they get together as individual teams, we're going to have a bit of a coordination meeting where representatives from each team get together to highlight the challenges that the whole is having and hopefully that information will then feed into the individual team's retrospectives so they can come up with solutions um, from the people who are closest to the work. Okay. After that, after teams meet together to make sure that the, the learning that happens from the individual teams gets spread out to the rest of the group so the whole can improve, we have another coordination meeting where those ideas are, ideas are gathered and then shared. Uh, and that kind of ends up ends off the sprint. A lot of teams uh, kind of do their sprint review and retro kind of in the one Kind of back session. to back. Yeah. We do see a lot of scrum teams doing that. That may not be possible at scale, but if you can make that work, that would be great. Okay. And the last thing, actually I thought when I looked at this diagram it would be the very first thing I spoke to you about. But in the end, looking through it, I realized, well, it's the last thing. The Nexus integration team. Right. Or the NIT. So this is, this is a new role that we have, and once you start getting multiple teams working together, we really do like to encourage teams to be responsible for their own problems. Teams are self-organizing, but as you start to get larger uh, efforts and multiple teams working together, we have this group of individuals who are really accountable for the individual team to be working together. And it's the accountability that's really important here. So this Nexus integration team, which is a Scrum team, it has members, it has a product owner, it has a Scrum master, they are accountable for all of the other teams successfully integrating. And when I talk about successfully integrating, that obviously will be technically integrating, making sure the code works well together, but integration is about communication, it's about making sure the processes are being effective across multiple teams. So this team has the accountability. And how they facilitate that is they act as coaches, consultants, they're servant leaders to the individual teams who at the end of the day, they're the people doing the work of integration. This Nexus integration team aren't doing the integration work themselves because those are the individual team's responsibilities, but they are facilitating it, they are supporting them, they are raising visibility and transparency. So they're, that is their main purpose and they are accountable. If there are integration challenges here and someone is looking at this from the outside and saying, hey, these teams aren't working together, Who's, who, who do we need to talk to, to to find out what's happening here? It's the accountability lies in the members of the next integration team. Awesome. Well, there you have it, straight from the source. Thank you, Steve, for that uh, walkthrough. And this is Adam Kogan from SSW TV.